What is going on everyone? I hope you were all having a fantastic day. So you all seem to love these versus videos and while I largely focus on companies who are more in the financial technology space, today I thought we would take a look at two larger companies and put them head to head to see which one might be the better option for you. And that brings us to today's versus video between Ally Bank and Discover Bank. So as always with these versus videos, let's break down everything that both of these companies have to offer, put their features head to head and hopefully give you a better idea of which one of these might be the better financial tool for you. All right, let's jump right into it. As always with these versus videos, I have reviewed Ally Bank and Discover Bank separately, but their rates and features are constantly changing, and it's been several months since I made those original reviews. So let's brush up on everything that each of these companies has to offer, put those features head to head, and make sure that you are making the best decision possible for your financial goals. So for starters, both of them offer a typical savings account option, and they currently both pay an identical 0.5% APY at the time of recording this video. Now, of course, both of these accounts come with no monthly maintenance fees, no minimum balance requirements, and none of those ridiculous fees that a lot of other banks like to charge, but we've kind of come to expect that at this point. One important point about both of these accounts that actually puts them both ahead of much of the competition when it comes to their savings account options is they actually both compound their interest daily rather than monthly, which is more of the norm. Now, I know in the past when I've tried to explain exactly what this means, I've probably lost some of you, and it definitely is something that can be a little bit confusing, but long story short, when your interest is compounded daily, daily, it means that you're basically going to earn a little bit more in interest when compared to monthly compounding. So if we take a look at this extreme example, let's say you had $5,000 in your account and contributed just $100 a month for a realistic number. Well, let's say you were earning 10% on that money, which is obviously not realistic at all for a bank account. But again, this is an extreme example to show you exactly what I mean by this compounding. So as you can see, if you compound that interest rate monthly, meaning it's basically split up over the 12 months out of the year, then at the end of five years, you would end up with $16,036. But if you compounded that interest daily, meaning it's split up over 365 days, then you would actually end up with $16,059 after five years. Now, again, that is a very extreme example with a very high interest rate. So on a smaller scale without those monthly contributions and an interest rate of 0.5% in this case, the difference is probably only going to be a few pennies here and there. But this is just something to keep in mind because again, it does give both of these companies a leg up over the competition. Now, as far as the savings account goes, Ally Bank does offer some really cool features like their bucket savings feature and their booster savings feature. And basically this allows you to create what is essentially mini accounts to save towards your particular financial goals and even round up your spending to the nearest whole dollar and automatically have that money moved into your savings account so that you're reaching your goals as quickly as possible. And we have seen features like this from many other competitors, but it isn't something that Discover currently offers. So just keep that in mind when making your decision. Ally Bank also offers 24-7 call and email based customer service. And while in my experience, their customer service is really good, there is definitely no match for the incredible customer service that is offered by Discover Bank. I know I have praised Discover in the past for their unbelievable and incredible customer service, but I am serious when I say that they probably have the best customer service of literally any company that I have ever had to deal with before. They answer the phone quickly. They always are able to answer my question. And I've never once in the three years of being a Discover customer been put on hold or had to wait to be transferred to another department. So as far as customer service is concerned, they are both pretty good across the board, but I would definitely give that category to Discover Bank. All right, so that's the savings account, but both of these companies also offer a checking account option. And this is where things start to get a little bit different in the way that they're going to approach this banking model. Ally Bank offers a pretty normal checking account that is actually going to pay you some interest, which is pretty cool. Now these rates are rather low at just 0.1% for balances below $15,000 and 0.25% for balances is above $15,000, which may not sound that good, but remember this is a checking account and typically checking accounts don't pay you any interest at all. Now Discover on the other hand is going to take a very different approach to their checking account and they're actually going to offer you 1% cash back on up to $3,000 in purchases each month on your Discover debit card. 
And if you do the math, even if you only spent, say, $1,000 per month on your regular purchases that you were going to make anyways, then that's $10 per month in cash back, and that is significantly more than you would probably be able to make with that low interest rate from the Ally Bank checking account, unless, of course, you are rolling in it and have tons of money in that account. So while these two models are definitely a little bit different, assuming that you're going to be using your Discover debit card for your regular everyday purchases, you're probably going to get more monetary value out of that 1% cash back than you would out of that low interest rate from Ally's checking account. Well, those two areas are very different. Both of these checking accounts are going to allow you to deposit checks remotely right from your phone, are fully FDIC insured, and both companies are partnered with Zelle, which I know is something that a lot of you are looking for when looking for a new bank. And if you're not familiar, Zelle is a third-party peer-to-peer transfer app, and when they partner with these various banks, it basically allows you to send or receive money to pretty much any U.S. bank account, and that is really, really useful. And you don't even have to have a third-party app like Venmo or Cash App. Now, as far as ATMs are concerned, Ally Bank is going to be on the all-point network of ATMs, meaning you have access to 45,000 free-to-use ATMs, while Discover has a slightly larger network with 60,000 ATMs. Now, in my experience, I have never really had any issues finding an ATM for either of these companies or really any of their competitors because most of them use pretty much the same network of ATMs. But obviously, Discover does have the larger network overall, so just look in your area and see if they do have an ATM near you because that's definitely something that you'll want to consider. Outside of those standard checking and savings account features, both companies also offer money market accounts, which is awesome because as far as fintech companies are concerned, there really aren't many competitors who offer something like that. And if you do decide to get either of these bank accounts, I highly encourage you to check out the money market account options because remember, a money market account is a great blend of a checking and savings account, meaning you're going to get a slightly higher interest rate like you would with a savings account, but have some of the features and flexibility of a checking account like depositing checks and withdrawing cash from an ATM without having to move that money to a new account. So Ally Bank currently offers 0.5% on all balances in their money market accounts, while Discover offers a slightly lower rate at 0.5%. 0.35% for balances of $100,000 or less, and 0.4% for balances of $100,000 or more. So because of that lower rate from Discover, I would give the money market account category to Ally Bank. But if you do decide to go with Discover Bank, then again, just keep that money market account option in mind. But honestly, you'd probably be better off just keeping that money in the savings account for Discover because you are going to earn that higher interest rate, and it's really not that difficult to move that money to your checking account should you ever need to access it. Both companies also also offer CDs or certificates of deposit and both start at a low three month option and go all the way up to five or 10 years if you wanted to. Now across the board, they offer pretty similar rates on their CDs, but as you get into the longer term CD options of several years or more, Ally Bank rates do start to pull well ahead of the Discover options. For example, both of them offer 0.2% on a three month CD, but for a five year CD, Ally Bank offers 0.85% while Discover offers just 0.6%. And on top of those higher rates, Ally Bank also offers a 0.05% loyalty reward when you renew your CD with them, and they also have a raise your rate CD that allows you to increase your rate even if the term of your CD hasn't yet ended, and they have a no penalty CD option, which is currently at 11 months at 0.5%, and that no penalty option means you can pull up that money early before the term is ended, and you won't be charged a fee. So just like the money market account, I would personally give the CD category to Ally Bank once again, just because their rates across the board are higher and they offer some of those unique CD options that are definitely really useful for the right person. So that's everything as far as banking is concerned, but I do feel it's important to mention here that Ally Bank does have their own investing platform with a managed portfolio tool, as well as regular investing accounts that allow you to buy stocks, ETFs, bonds, mutual funds, Forex, although I don't see anything about cryptocurrency, which means you're not able to day trade Bitcoin, which is definitely a huge bummer. I'm kidding. That Please don't, don't day trade Bitcoin. All jokes aside, they also offer mortgages, auto loans, and personal loans. So if you do decide to go with Ally Bank, then just keep all of these other features in mind because they do have a lot of great financial tools outside of their banking offerings. Now, Discover does not currently offer an investing platform, but they do have student loans, personal loans, and home loans. And they also have what is, in my opinion, the best beginner credit card on the market, which is obviously the Discover It credit card. Now, I do believe that Ally Bank used to have a credit card option, but at least for the time being on their website, it says that they do not have a credit card. So again, just something to keep in mind when making your decision based on what financial tools you think you will need.
And that's really everything as far as the financial tools go. And the last thing that I want to mention is that using both of these platforms for mobile apps, I'd say that Discover definitely has a better design for their mobile platform. And while Ally Bank does work just fine, it's definitely more optimized for a desktop-based platform. So at the end of the day, either of these companies would be fantastic banking options with a very proven track record and options that expand far beyond the banking financial tools if you do need those as well. They're pretty similar across the board, but here's what I I would say to help you make your final decision. If you feel that you do most of your banking from a desktop or laptop, then Ally Bank is probably going to be the better option and they do offer higher rates across the board, especially on their CDs and money market accounts. However, if you're the type of person like me to do most of your banking from your mobile device, then Discover is probably going to be the better option because the Discover app is incredibly well designed and is miles ahead of what Ally Bank is currently offering. So for me personally, I think I prefer Discover Bank overall, but but if you know that you want to use an integrated investing platform and you plan on using those CDs and money market accounts, then I would definitely go with Ally Bank because they are going to offer those higher rates on those particular accounts. So let me know if you prefer Discover Bank or Ally Bank down in the comment section below and why you feel that company is better than the competition. As always, if you did enjoy this video and you want to help support me, it would mean a lot to me if you would hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with someone who you think would get value out of this content as well. And as always, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.